In the world of monsters, Kong shares a close bond with a young deaf girl. However, due to ancient rivalry between their species, Godzilla and Kong end up fighting each other. Kong almost dies in the battle. Today we will recap the 2021 Godzilla vs. Kong story. But before we dive in, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our content. Kong, the Gorilla King, is having another peaceful morning. He now lives in an artificial forest on Skull Island, near the Monarch Organization's headquarters. Gia, a deaf girl Kong had saved as a baby, was always present. But something strange happens that day. For some unknown reason, the gorilla revolts and throws a tree trunk into the sky, damaging the biodome that kept the artificial forest running. According to Jolene Andrews, the scientist in charge of Kong's care, despite the fact that the environment is insufficient to sustain him outside of that location, the animal would be sentenced to death. Bernie is an engineer who devotes his life to discovering the truth about the Titans and documents his findings in the Titan Truth podcast. He has been working undercover for Apex Cybernetics, a multinational technology company, for the past five years years, he is given the opportunity to access the organization's confidential information one day at work. As he copies all of the data, the emergency alarm sounds, alerting employees to a possible intrusion. The security team notices an enraged creature approaching the base. Bernie, along with the soldiers who remain to stop the creature, heads to the opposite side as workers organize to evacuate the area. When the engineer wakes up, there is an explosion, and Godzilla has destroyed the entire facility. The most intriguing aspect is that the monster apparently had no reason to attack. Another oddity is that only the cybernetic Apex HQ was damaged, while the entire area around it was spared. Madison Russell, the daughter of Emma Russell, the scientist who opposed the events of Godzilla 2, watched everything on the news on her way home from class. The girl is listening to a new episode of Titan Truth, in which Bernie describes what happened during the attack. She then decides to go to the Monarch Company's relief camp to discuss what with her father. She claims that the only reason Godzilla attacked the company was because another Titan was hiding inside, making the King of Monsters feel threat. But Mark Russell ignores what his daughter has to say. That same night, Walter Simmons, Apex's owner, and Ren CWA, the company's chief technology officer, pay Nathan Lin, a science professor at Denham University, a visit. Following Godzilla's attack, they went there to summon Nathan on a mission to find the Hollow Earth, about which he had already written a book. There was a theory that this was the place where all the Titans were born, and Walter had discovered a way to prove it. The Tycoon had developed special aircraft that could withstand the pressure of the black hole. The only thing he required was someone to lead his team. The scientist discusses the genetic memory theory, which states that all Titans had within them the ability to find a way to return to where they came from. This means that, with the assistance of a Titan to show them the way to the Hollow Earth, Nathan pursues Illing and asks the woman to assist him in returning Kong to his home. He claims that the Apex discovered Antarctica, a portal to the Hollow Earth. They could find their way there with Kong's help and return Kong to his true home while also saving the Earth's surface from Godzilla's attacks. The woman is nervous about the idea, but it was better to take a chance on this mission than to keep Kong trapped in that artificial habitat. Nathan summons his team to transport the gorilla to Antarctica as soon as Ilian agrees to take on this challenge. A giant ship, where Kong was chained and kept under high doses of sedative, is required for this. Later, while the team was already at sea, Maya Simmons, Walter Simmons' daughter, arrives on the ship and introduces herself as an Apex representative. That evening, Nathan informs them that they will arrive in Antarctica in 48 hours. Ilian is concerned about a Godzilla attack. She claims that the Titans have the ability to detect threats in the King of Monsters. According to legend, their ancestors fought each other in a great war, and if they do, there will almost certainly be a fight to demonstrate their power. Gia notices something strange and leaves her room during the storm. She steps outside the ship and notices the gorilla is tense. The girl approaches him and calms him down. Ilene arrives soon after and attempts to re-enter Ja into the ship. Kong, according to the girl, is depressed and angry. He doesn't think humans want to take him in. At that point, the scientist discovers that Gia has been communicating with the animal through sign language all along, something she had been trying to do for 10 years but Kong had never done. Madison meets her friend Josh while the ape is being transported to Antarctica, and the two of them set out in search of the mysterious man behind the Titan Truth. Bernie had never revealed his true identity despite having the podcast for five years because he was a master infiltrator. The girl intends to assist him in exposing the company and determining the true reason Godzilla attacked the facility. After bribing a convenience store owner, the kids obtain the address of a man who may be the podcast's author. They arrive at Bernie's basement. Madison introduces herself as Emma Russell's daughter, and the man lets them in right away. They go to a coffee shop, and Bernie starts the entire game. The man describes the files he discovered at the apex. Shortly before Godzilla attacked the location, he claims that a massive cargo was being transported to the company's headquarters in Hong Kong, containing highly suspicious technology. The trio then decides to enter the apex in search of something new. Later that night, Gia has a feeling that something bad is about to happen. She rushes to find Ilene but is unable to locate her in time, causing alarms to sound and crew members to despair. The girl eventually finds Ilene and informs her, Godzilla is approaching 
approaching Congo's insane asylum, attempting to free himself from his chains but failing. The scientist requests that Nathan release the gorilla so that he can defend himself, but Nathan refuses because he does not want to risk losing. If that happened, the mission would be a failure. The ships begin to bombard the approaching monster, but Godzilla splits them in half. Some planes approach to bomb it, but the monster destroys them with its tail, as if they were insects. Kong was enraged by this point, but the chains were too thick for the gorilla to pull off. He is completely defenseless against the Supreme Kaijay's attacks at this point. Godzilla appears from beneath the ship and manages to turn it completely upside down. Both Kong and the crew are on the verge of drowning when Nathan reaches the lever and frees the gorilla from the chains. When Godzilla appears, Kong manages to punch him away. He then raises the ship, saving the entire crew. He gets on the boat and rips off his collar, which contained the sedatives. The animal jumps from ship to ship, using the planes as weapons against its adversary. Kong punches the overpowered lizard with all his might as he climbs onto the ship. The animal, however, retaliates by punching the gorilla in the face, causing it to fall. But Kong quickly rises and throws the king of monsters back into the sea. As a last resort, Kaju unleashes his atomic breath and completely destroys the ship. However, the gorilla king acts quickly and jumps into the sea before being eaten. As a result, he is at a disadvantage, and the Kaijay is able to attack him. Kong kicks the monster and attempts to return to the surface, but Godzilla catches up with him and drags him back to the bottom of the ocean. Ilene has a suggestion to assist him. She requests that the captain unleash some death charges in order to confuse the kaiju. Her plan works in Kong, and she is able to escape. When the animal returns to the ship, it is completely exhausted. He can no longer fight because he hasn't been breathing for a long time. As a result, Nathan requests that the captain shut down the entire ship. His strategy was to have everyone pretend to be dead so that Godzilla would believe he had won the fight. The strategy was successful. The kaiju notices that all of the engines have shut down and the problem now is getting to Antarctica because if the ship works again, Godzilla will return to finish his work. The only way out is to fly the rest of the way. Meanwhile, Bernie, Madison, and Josh set out on their mission to infiltrate Apex's headquarters. After the attack, the location was completely detonated, and the trio manages to enter through a hole in the rubble. Everything had fallen apart, but Madison discovers a hidden lift that is still in working order. They pass through it and arrive at sub-level 33, which contains several transport pods. The group enters one of them to hide from a security guard who has searched the area. Inside, there were some creature eggs captured from Skull Island. The doors are locked at that point, and the capsule begins its journey. They are informed by the GPS that they are being transported to Apex headquarters in Hong Kong. The other group, on the other hand, makes it to Antarctica. Several planes are required to transport Kong. The animal was carried there by a steel net attached to power cables. This was the only way to get him to safety without Godzilla attacking. When the gorilla awakens, he finds himself in a completely different environment, surrounded by snow. Gia is waiting for him, and the animal is delighted to see him. The girl invites Kong to enter the tunnel that leads to the hollow earth, but he refuses. Ilene requests that the girl inform the gorilla that this is his home and that he can find his family inside. Gia does so, and Kong dashes towards the entrance to the hollow earth. Nathan and his team board Apex's anti-gravity vehicle and follow the gorilla. When crossing the barrier, Kong in the aircraft is pulled down due to gravity reversal. They are launched directly into the planet's interior. Vehicles lose control and fall to the ground. Kong slides down the mountain, slipping away until he finds a contact surface to cling to. The crew is about to crash into the ground and die, but the commanders regain control of the ship and everyone survives. The gorilla descends the mountain and runs towards the source of energy. He is so determined that he appears to be familiar with the hollow earth, but it was his first visit. The team sees spectacular creatures from inside the gravitational vehicles that are not found anywhere else on the planet. A winged serpent attacked and destroyed one of the airships as they followed Kong. The beast was about to devour the airship in which Ilene and Gia were, but Kong intervenes. The gorilla grabs the snake by the tail and throws it against the water's surface. He then uses the animal to dispatch a second oncoming snake. The monster, however, survives and attempts to strangle Kong. However, the Delta team bombs the animal, causing the gorilla to break. He kills the creature by slamming its body into the ground and then ripping off its head to drink its blood. Kong then continues his journey to the energy core. New mysterious creatures are revealed along the way. In a beautiful food chain, giant crabs and frogs coexist here. At that point, the trio of an engineer and two teenagers is following the tunnel that will lead them to Hong Kong. When they arrive, they come across an arena where titans have been sent to fight each other. After a few minutes of exploring the location, the group hears an alarm followed by an electronic voice announcing the impending battle. The platform transports a massive robot to the arena. This was a strange replica of Godzilla, only bigger and more powerful. Ren was in command of that robot. Walter instructs his team to release test subject two-legged lizard captured from Skull Island. When the animal is released, it runs towards the three intruders, but it is surprised by Mecha Godzilla, who grabs his arms and launches a beam of radioactive energy immobilizing and rendering the animal defenseless. The creature's body is ripped in half and it dies instantly. Ren informs Walter that the system has only reached 40% of its maximum capacity. Apex's creator claims that once his team
machine sends a sample from the hollow earth the power outages will end and the robot titan will be ready to battle Godzilla. Madison deduces from this that the king of monsters attacked the apex facility in the United States. Mark Madison's father learns that Godzilla has abruptly changed course and is on his way to Hong Kong. A transport vehicle is now prepared to transport the scientist back to hollow. Kong leads the team to a rock mountain surrounded by radioactive energy. They come to the conclusion that this is the center of the hollow earth. Kong unlocks the gates of the mountain that was the former ruler of that world's castle. The area was deserted and littered with the remains of a war that had most likely been raging for hundreds of years. Kong discovers an axe embedded in one of the skeletons scattered on the ground and adopts it as his new weapon. The team that is accompanying him descends from their aircraft to investigate. The real Godzilla had already arrived in Hong Kong and was destroying everything in his path while the city was being evacuated. Military personnel prepared to fight the Hollow Earth's King of Monsters. Kong's axe start to glow and emit energy. The gorilla places his weapon on a rock and the axe begins to draw radiation from the core, as if reloading. At that point, the Apex agents on the mission deployed a small robot to collect a sample of that energy and send it to the laboratory. Ren receives the energy signal and states that they will be able to recreate it very soon. Eileen tries to intervene, but Maya declares that the Hollow Earth is now the property of the Apex and orders the guards to arrest the scientists. When the gorilla revolt sees Gia in danger, it is quickly surprised by Godzilla's attack. Maya instructs her team to remove her because they have already obtained what they desired. There is a real battle between monsters and humans. Soldiers are attacked by colossal prehistoric birds. Maya is able to board the airship and flee with her team. The trio remains behind and is attacked as they attempt to reach the vehicle. However, Godzilla's attack, which sends the creature flying, saves them. The gorilla gets in the way of the airship's departure, and Maya orders her team to shoot him. After confirming that Gia is not aboard, he blows up the ship with his bare hands. He then grabs his axe and heads to the surface. The trio finally boards the plane and departs behind him. Madison and her friends continue their search for a way out of the facility, but they are apprehended by a scientist who summons the guards. Kong finally makes it to Hong Kong and prepares to face his greatest adversary. He begins the fight but misses the first blow. When he tries to hit his death, Godzilla seizes the opportunity to destroy him. Ray the monkey strikes back with a nice elbow. He then attempts to rip the animal's jaw open. The Kaije, on the other hand, manages to stop him with its atomic breath. Kong pushes the other titan away and punches him in the face before kicking him in the chest. Kong retrieves the Kaije's axe and uses them to defend itself from the atomic breath while it is on the ground. As a result, he discovers that the energy he discovered in the hollow earth served as fuel for his weapon. Then Godzilla decides to attack him. Melee, the king of monsters, manages to take down the gorilla, who stabs the axe into the animal's back. The kaiju detaches the weapon from its body and launches it into the air. Kong must now avoid its rays if he is to survive while jumping between buildings. He is seriously injured after being hit in the back. Nathan and his team arrive in the city on their airship and are soon engaged in battle. Their first task is to avoid being hit by Godzilla's atomic breath. Kong rips out the top floor of a building and uses it as a shield to get his axe. Then he approaches the kaiju with his weapon and strikes the monster. Both are repulsed by the attacks and destroy a number of buildings as they fall. The trio is taken to Walter Simmons' room at Apex headquarters and invited to closely watch his masterpiece, the robot that would defeat Godzilla and become the new Alpha Titan, restoring humanity's power on the planet. But the battle outside is far from over. Kong leaps onto the back of the giant lizard and delivers several punches to the animal's head. Godzilla, however, bites his arm and knocks him to the ground as he is severely injured. The Gorilla King is no longer able to fight back. Monster tries to catch him, but Kong dodges and kicks his opponent. Godzilla, on the other hand, is a tenacious fighter who uses his claw to rip open the ape's abdomen. Kong can hardly breathe as the kaiju begins crushing his chest. However, seeing that its opponent has weakened and lacks the strength, the lizard leaves Kong. A system crash occurs during Ren's connection to the Titan Apex, and the monster takes on a life of its own. He is no longer under man's control and begins to follow his own instincts. His first act is to assassinate Walter Simmons and the chief technology officer who is in charge of him. The robot animal destroys the control room, allowing him to eliminate both men at the same time. He then leaves the facility and goes after Godzilla. He still takes the opportunity to destroy the city. The machine begins to bombard him, and the two fight to keep the city from being completely destroyed. Josh attempts to decipher the satellite's password in order to stop the monster. Nathan's vehicle lands next to Kong, and as they exit the ship, they are surprised to see Godzilla fighting his robot replica. Gia notices the gorilla's heartbeat stopping. Nathan suggests using the Apex airship to discharge and stimulate an electrical charge. This is his only chance to be saved. Meanwhile, the battle raged on, and the lizard was suffering greatly. Godzilla is easily launched into buildings by the robot, who grabs him by the tail. They engage in an atomic beam power struggle. At that time, the Alpha Titan was recently defeated. Nathan lands the airship on Kong's chest and instructs it to unload its cargo. He flees immediately, but is still hit by the blast. Kong stands up, still disoriented. Geo approaches him and requests that the gorilla assist Godzilla. He's hesitant, and the girl 
claims that it wasn't the kaiju who was the enemy but that robot Godzilla would never have attacked them if Apex hadn't created that fighting machine. When the gorilla notices that the Titan is about to be annihilated he decides to do the same. Kong rushes to the battlefield and grabs the robot just as it is about to kill Godzilla. At that moment, the two rivals join forces to destroy the true enemy. They grab the robot's arms and throw it into a building. Kong kicks him in the head but the machine attacks and knocks Godzilla down. Mecha Godzilla, in fact, did not want to attack Kong. His true intention was to destroy the Alpha, to put a stop to him. Kong retrieves his axe and strikes the machine several times. The metal kaiju fights back. After a few minutes of searching for the satellite password, Josh decides to destroy the machine with Bernie's drink. At the time, the cyber kaiju in Kong is weakened and attempting to flee. Godzilla employs his atomic breath to assist the ape in reloading his axe. His blows are powerful enough to sever the robot's limbs. When he finally manages to take him down, Kong rips off his head and kills him for good. After winning, the gorilla collapses to the ground and collapses from exhaustion. Madison is reunited with her father, who is surprised to see her there, as the crowd takes to the streets. Godzilla suddenly stands up in Kong and prepares for another battle, but the kaiju, to his surprise, refuses to fight. His only goal is to reassert himself as the Titan's Alpha. As a sign of surrender, the monkey drops his axe, and Godzilla departs. After a few months, Monarch established a new monitoring station in the Hollow Earth, allowing Eileen, Nathan, and Gia to remain close to Kong as he ruled the planet's interior, and Godzilla maintained control of the surface, bringing the Titanic battle to a close. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you love movies, and don't forget to watch our other videos as well. Till then see you on the next video.